Right, it's time for you to put your cap of judgment on. Here's the situation. A white Republican from Texas came up with an unorthodox strategy to appeal to a mostly black Democratic vote district. Uh, he just simply implied that he was black as well, or though that's what the criticism is. Dave Wilson left his photo off flyers during his campaign for Houston Community College Board of Trustees. That's a fact. Now, why he did it? Why did he opt instead for smiling black faces that he found on the Internet? Uh, there you have Chris Cuomo as we welcome you back for hour number three of the uh, extravaganza, the Steve Malzberg show. And joining us now is the uh, man that was being talked about by Chris Cuomo on CNN's uh, morning show, uh, New Day, Dave Wilson. Hello, Dave. Hi there. Glad, uh, gl glad you could join us, sir. My pleasure. All right. Well, I also want you to hear you did not escape the wrath of Al Sharpton on MSNBC either. Uh, let's, uh, let's let you hear what uh, Al Sharpton had to say. This story is troubling. Racial politics at its worst. Just listen to the radio ad Wilson ran in his district. Girl, have you been keeping up with the HCC District 2 race? The one between Dave Wilson and Bruce Austin. I'm voting for Dave Wilson. Dave Wilson isn't he? The yes, Dave Wilson is the man who's fighting for our neighborhoods. Wilson also sent out a series of misleading flyers. In one, he claims he was endorsed by Ron Wilson but not the well-known Texas politician, Ron Wilson, who debated David Duke and led the fight for Texas to recognize Martin Luther King Day. If you read the fine print, the Ron Wilson who endorsed Dave Wilson is his cousin who lives in Iowa. <laughs> all, all right, Dave. So um, as Ricky Ricardo might say on the I Love Lucy show, start splaining. Um, did, did, did you do anything dastardly here? Um, you know, it's amazing uh, when you try to follow the sentiments of what Dr. Martin Luther King stood for about judging a person by his character rather than his skin color. You have to kind of chuckle at what's going on. Uh, the, I tried. That is a predominantly black uh, district. So I wanted to run on the issues so it wouldn't. You know, I'm, I believe in target marketing. It wouldn't do me any good to put my picture on there. It wouldn't get me any votes. What gets me votes is speaking to the issues of the voters in that community and leaving race totally out of it. And that's what my objective was, and that's why I did what I did. I mean, you never came out and said, I'm black. You never said that uh, uh, it was uh, Congressman uh, uh, Wilson uh, that, that, that endorsed you. Uh, you, you. I mean, you know, and, and plus, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, you did make several appearances. And again, I, I believe you claim that uh, after you made those public appearances, uh, your vote total went up, your, your, your support went up. Uh, it did indeed. And one of the things uh, in running this campaign uh, – I, you know, it's one of the campaigns playing chess. They move, you move, you know, you counter move, you know, and you take a piece, they take a piece, and you, you position yourself. But after the, uh, halfway through the campaign, it was looking like I had the upper hand on him. And so my opponent chose to send out a racial flyer that a right-wing hate monger and has a big picture of me on it my white face shining out there. And uh, he describes, um, he just, he, oh, he, oh, yeah, he, he called me a whew, conservative Republican. And then he, the thing that I love on this uh, flyer is he said that I advocated bringing back chain gangs to clean the highways. Oh, my gosh. I don't know where he got that. but uh, Well, let me ask you, in, in, in his uh, you know, campaign against you, did he make it clear that you were white? Yes, that's my whole point. He did, yeah, and he, he put it out there. Yeah, yeah. And quite frankly, I had spoke at the Houston Community College on several occasions, and my picture was on YouTube. Well, that's what I... I had spoke at the Houston Community College on several occasions, and my picture was on YouTube. Well, that's what I... In, in the last two or three years, I've been campaigning against all the corruption and fraud going on, and... Four times I spoke at the largest African-American breakfast club in the state of Texas over the last two years. And everybody, you know, there's six, seven hundred members in that club. And it's, it's predominantly an African-American breakfast club on the north side in the district that I ran.
We're talking uh, right now to Dave Wilson, uh, Houston, Texas area electrician who uh, has been all over the news uh, for, for winning a, a Houston College Board seat by some say pretending to be black. Let me let, just ask you, uh, where you where you say to me today it, it wouldn't have been beneficial for you to put your picture on there, it wouldn't have gotten you any votes, that's common sense, but did you did you ever claim or make believe you were black? Absolutely not. That's <laughs> pretty obvious what color I am. No, I mean, I know that. And using, whose decision was it to use the, uh, uh, Af I, I, I assume that the, the, by Al Sharpton playing that ad, he believes that those women are are, are perceived as African American. So that's how I'll, I'll address it. Uh, who, who chose to use those women's voices in the ad? Um, I had a consultant who uh, wrote that radio commercial for me and used professional uh, uh, actors okay yeah so again i mean but that again i mean it's quite conceivable that you did get a lot of uh you would have you know i mean to, to, to put uh it's a commercial you, you nowhere does it say these are actual voters i mean you did everything <laughs> believe me believe me when you go back to how certain politicians you know barack obama how he got people kicked off the ballot the first time he ran for a political office uh and and got elected and you look at uh, you know other people who have done similar things and you know they say all's fair in love and war and politics is is the same thing and you know if you would put out a flyer that said i'm african american uh that's one thing but uh because they didn't like that you won, and then they, they, they start nitpicking, and you did this and you did that. You didn't sit in your house and hide and, and say, I'm black. You came out, you spoke, and your opponent said you were white, and everybody knew you were white, and, they, and you won anyway. You know, it's, a, it's kind of amazing. You know, when you run a campaign, you do target marketing. You know, you market your target. You don't try to sell maternity clothes to uh, – to, to a bunch of men. Now, wait, wait, wait. Now, now, Dave, I might take exception to you because Obamacare insists that everyone in their new insurance policies has maternity coverage. So you might want to reconsider that. <laughs> okay, let me think of another exception. <laughs> but it's true. It's sad, but it's true. I know what you're saying. Of course, you, 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 you market to a, a target or a, that, that you feel you need uh, to, 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 you know, to win over, and uh, that's how it works, whether you're a, uh, an electrician uh, wanting to sell your service or a politician wanting to, to win. Exactly right. And uh, the, the, you know, the only people that have complained that I have, uh, have deceived and the voters is my opponent, Bruce Austin, and the liberal media. Those are the only people. Well, and now Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton, <laughs> Bruce Austin, and the liberal media. Those are the only people that have. Uh, there's not been one voter that's come up to me or said anything. Yeah, and, uh, well, there you go. And, and the, 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 the university, I mean, are they, are they ticked off at you or anything? Well, um, the community college that I'm going to be on, in January yeah. when the term begins, uh, uh, they were they were surprised at that 24-year incumbent, and I have a feeling that um, I have kind of put a, uh, a kink in their plans of what they were doing and how they were running that, and I got a feeling they're worried about changes that are coming, which is what needs to happen there. Uh, they, they've mismanaged that community college. They spent $45 million to build a school in the foreign country of Qatar. Oh, boy. The, the attendance is down. The enrollment is down over the last three years. The tuition is up. They make, they've uh, let out a bunch of contracts to insiders and friends, and um, it's, it's just poorly run. It needs no, to no, wonder the lib no wonder the liberals are upset. Hey, listen, Dave, good luck with your tenure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Dave Wilson, um, folks. You know, you could accuse all you want. You could cry sour apples, sour grapes, whatever the heck it's uh, sour something. And it's, uh, you know, like I said, all's fair in, in uh, love and war. He didn't, he didn't claim he was black. And he made public appearances. And his opponent said he was white. On the Steve Malsberg Show, Newsmax TV and Radio.